I was see that you weren't there. Because <laughs> I wasn't there. I, I was getting myself some water. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome. Yeah, gotta, keep, gotta keep hydrated, you know? Like, I forgot to drink today, so I was just getting a glass of water. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hello, everybody. So today we're assembling. Um, hello, June. We're assembling a strawberry shortcake. But, you know, it's, it's loose interpretation of strawberry shortcake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I couldn't, I couldn't find any strawberries. So uh, those of you who actually followed us on um, baking me with my BFF on Instagram, you probably seen Instagram stories where I'm showing you an ice cream. Um, I was planning on making ice cream cake, strawberry shortcake ice cream cake. It was such a great idea, but I didn't really have enough time because I started this morning and you have to let the uh, strawberry layer chill for like six to eight hours so i only let it chill for two hours i do have footage to prove it and i you know i started assembling it hey hey ems and it was still so soft so i had to switch gears and um i'm going to make my first uh, strawberry shortcake pump cake <laughs> so, poke it's a poke you have to poke the cake i will have some questions between because it is my first time making it so we'll see well i think it's it's actually refreshing for people to see that you know this is the reality that things don't always work out even for what is you know people think yeah. oh, it's always no, it's three or two different grocery stores so they had lots of cherries but you know i, I couldn't really disguise cherry the strawberry so it will be difficult so i ended up getting i'm so thankful i got strawberry ice cream and frozen strawberries perfect so tell us where you guys are watching from yes what did you guys, how, how did you start today how is your day going my day my day is pretty good i uh i had more success these are my strawberries i'm so jealous if i could read through the screen i would these are hey, my strawberries. So I, I, w I went to the grocery store, and what happens with us, though, it's the farmer uh, does a kiosk right outside the grocery store. And so you do your errands, and then when you come out, you can pick up your fresh, like they have fresh produce outside. I don't know what the deal is. But... In a big, like in a big uh, cart, or do you have to pick? No, no, they're there. They're picked, but like they must have some arrangement with the grocery store. Anyway, and so... Uh, Oh, here, I oh, got, uh, yeah, like I said, no strawberries. So, lesson learned. We did have lots of in May. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. So, I wanted to chat. Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I am buying a motorized scooter. <laughs> Today, uh, I tried one and it was so fun. I nearly like killed myself. You know, we have rock behind us and it was so powerful. I was just trying, uh, somebody brought it for me so I could test it out and it's so powerful. 35 kilometers per hour, which is uh, somebody do the math for the miles. Oh, yeah. um, when I was 14, my father bought me a scooter. So I yeah. drove a scooter for probably two years in the summer, obviously. And mine was 150 cc. So mine went 150 kilometers an hour. That is fast. I mean, I'm a little older than 14, but I was so, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, hello, Brenda. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi guys. Do you recognize Brenda? Pretty Brenda, sure. That yes, yes we, I recognize Brenda. Hey, yeah. If if we were downstairs, I would show you how I recognize you. It's it's my mat has it's got some some tears in it. I was looking. Brenda's maybe, the, the inventor of the uh, dough uh, mat. mat. Yes. Uh, around the edges, there is like some tearing there. But I've been using the mat for. Uh, I would say it's coming like in two or three years. It's going to be ten years. Really? It's been that long? She's been... In 2014, been maybe? 2000, well, okay, I'm made, like six, six, seven years maybe then. We are doing, I'm doing, um, like I said, I had a really fun day. I was trying on a scooter, not trying on, I wasn't, I wasn't trying, you know. <laughs> Hi, Julie. So, Hi, Julie. Is anybody joining us? Did anybody bake last night and prepare for today? I know it's very... Um, Last minute, but last minute, everything last minute, and I had to change my plans. But you know, you just gotta roll with the punches. Yes, yes, 
Amber also has her dough easy mat. And it comes with the it comes with the with the rolling guide. Buenos dias. Not yet. <laughs> Today though, like okay, you're gonna call like okay, I'm not gonna say it, I guess, because I will like I always thought vale, right? It means okay, I thought it is vale, pronounced vale. And it's not, it's actually vale. But it sounds like vale. Like vamos, Va vamos, it's like What's vamos? I can't remember, but it's not B, it's pronounced with B. Oh, I, I did not know that. And yes, Jeremy, that is exactly what we're talking about. Yes, yes. he just picked, he just bought it last month, I think, think right, Jeremy, or um, some sometime recently. Okay. Then, uh, make after. Don't forget to send us pictures, guys. We love to see your pictures and we'll be sharing them. Yes. But the valet, I mean, how is it pronounced? That's what I mean. Well, never, never, you know, nevertheless, we are here to bake today. So who's, I guess, who's starting? I need to put something in a freezer so it, it has time. Well, to I, can, I can quickly just, so I'll turn on my camera. So what I wanted to do here, I'm going to show you my pictures. So first thing I'm going to show you. So in Quebec, our season is, is long. We have all kinds of greenhouses and all kinds of different I mean, downtown we've got greenhouses on the on the buildings and everything, so we have strawberries pretty much the whole season. And I decided to put them in um, stemless wine glasses, and I'm going to be using this um, cream here. That's a brand here, and it's lactose free. I'm lactose intolerant. If you've never had this product. It doesn't taste any different than regular cream. I really no difference whatsoever. I don't I don't notice a difference. Hello, Hello Donna. Donna. Yes, thanks for joining us. Hello. So I baked the cake yesterday with Han. So I'm gonna add, I guess, this camera. And let me just pull it out of the fridge. So yesterday we were chit-chatting and mine got a little browner than maybe I would have liked. My area is slightly small to have all the gear that I have. I just bought these stemless wine glasses and I might break one today. Who knows? No, I like those. I actually, I have to say, I actually prefer stemless ones. Oh, I forgot my cutting You can kind of relax. I feel like I don't have to worry about it breaking. So yesterday, you you put uh, flour and oil on your parchment paper. I never do that, and I just want to show. Like, look, it it here's my parchment paper. I mean, it doesn't. I would, that have probably also worked, but you know, I'm just like, it's a paranoia or something. Okay, I'm just I'm saying. Used, I'm just so used to it. You don't have to, unless your brand is finicky and you probably that time would. Or I I would do it like for this cake it's probably not necessary but when you are doing a pound cake and it takes longer to bake I feel like it gives it an extra protection so it doesn't uh, run out. So I'm just gonna cut like this much of it. And and if you're let's say you're um, you don't have to make it all you can freeze what's left I'm just gonna cube like this part of it but you don't have to use up all your cake. You can kind of take only part of it because strawberry shortcake's not a thing that lasts very nice. Like I find that it gets soggy and gross. You have to eat it like quickly. I don't know, some people maybe like it when it's soaked for a while. I personally like it when the cake isn't so wet. Well, actually I do like uh, soap. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't like it. So that's that's the great thing about baking. You like tiramisu? Do you, do you like tiramisu? What did you say? You like tiramisu? Um, I I'll have it occasionally, like if I you know in certain occasions, but it's never something I've made. No, I oh gosh, I love that kind of stuff when it's like the lady fingers soaking. So I'm just using yeah. it with a bread a bread knife. But it works. It works great. That's what I usually use. Maybe if it was soaked in alcohol, you would have, you would like it. Julie. Maybe, maybe I could have the alcohol just in a cup though, with my dessert. 
Yes. I was actually thinking that with my strawberry syrup, I made strawberry syrup with, um, yeah, um, to make the company that I could uh, easily put like some red wine. I had red wine by the stove. I was so tempted, but I'm maybe planning on giving it to the neighbor's kids. So I was like, okay, they're four. They should probably not be drinking. Uh, maybe, maybe. That's maybe a, a, a good one. <laughs> That's a big maybe, huh? I'm going to move this. I've got my crumbs. So I actually um, put, I cut up all my strawberries already and I put maple syrup to sweeten them. They're in the fridge and I'm just going to whip my cream. And that's another thing. I don't find that. The I'm going to start actually uh, with, well, no, I guess I'm not because it's, I need to whip two, three whipped creams. Three? Well, you know how I like to complicate things. Sure. Well, do you want to whip first? So no, well, I need to pipe it then. <laughs> so do I do mine first then? Yes, you you do yours. I just thought it would kill the same, you know, the noise. The oh, it's not good. If you want, we can put the camera side by side. I could actually do it. Like I will just do it. That's fine. Oh, there. I have to add gelatin. So <laughs> object I have to talk about. Okay, you go. Well, you I mean, you start setting up, setting up your, your stuff. So I'm measuring out a cup of the, the cream again because I don't like it when it's like whipped and sitting around. So I'd rather whip it fresh. So I'm just going to whip half of my container. And then if I, you know, have my leftover cake. I will only, I will, I will only interrupt you once because this is going to take a while. So um, let me just get the cream ready. Okay, so this is Mar and this is me. All right, this is me, thumbs up. Okay, this is you. so here, here I've got some water. This is cold water and I'm going to make four. Um, I'm gonna talk about the gelatin after I'm, I'm done with this, but it takes five or 10 minutes for, for it to kind of room. So, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna add my mixer. I'll turn off my sound. Can you? Can you, I guess you guys can hear me. So I, I hope you guys can hear me. So I'm adding four sheets of gelatin into cold water. Um, and we're going to let it soften about five to 10 minutes. And then I will continue. Okay, so this is done. So I'm gonna set this aside. Maron is still whipping away her beautiful, delicious uh, lactose-free heavy cream. <laughs> she can't. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Can, oh, you can hear me. Okay, it was confusing. I wasn't sure. I know she cut me off as well. So um, I use the uh, sheet gelatin because it's quite hard to source um, powder gelatin. And in the U.S., I've always used powder gelatin. Um, but ever since I used sheet gelatin, I, I don't think I will ever go back. Um, I find it tasteless, um, like, they, like it, there's no odor. Sometimes I, in uh, granulated gelatin, I would find that there is some kind of odor, and I didn't like that. Um, and so, yeah, that's why I think I'm going to stick with the sheet gelatin. And it is fairly easy to use. I know um, when I've heard of it before, I would be always... Um, Worry that I'm gonna do something wrong, but it's so easy to use. And it's actually, uh, I find that it uh, dissolves nicer than granulated gelatin. Um, sometimes when I work with granulated, I would still have some um, graininess even after it was dissolved, so you're not risking that. And it sets really nice, it sets really fine. And the ratio, I think it's very controversial. Everybody uses, uses a different, um, the one I have here is, yeah, so gelatin, like when you talk about gelatin, we say you need to bloom the gelatin and then also gelatin is, um, um, gelatin comes in different grades of bloom. And that means that basically is a measure that is used to, um, um, mark the, the strength of gelatin and, um, firmness. 
So this is 250 bloom. Yes, this is 250. I also have another one, which is uh, Dr. Edgar, which is super popular. And this is, this one is 240, uh, 240 bloom. So it says this is type B and 250 is type one. Now the controversial about it is that like one envelope of gelatin, it's about two, teaspoons uh, up to two and a half teaspoons and then um, it's it's from three to five sheets per gelatin for the envelope so you have to kind of develop your own ratio which works for you for me it's about three and a half sheets and it's this sheet that I use this is about three inches by five inches and I've also used these on my um, on my cookies Christmas ornaments and I plan on using it for a gingerbread house because it makes for the beautiful, beautiful windows. All right, so how is your cream? Whipped cream literally everywhere. Was well, as you said, you expected, huh? Well, I was, yeah, the thing is, is normally I would have like put a little bit of a cover, but now you're trying to show inside the bowl. I've got it on the camera. I've got it. Everywhere. Okay, I have to be a little bit careful. I have to be so my um, cooks are a bit dirty. Dirty. My, my mother and my mom she would always whip gelatin in like a really tall glass and she would have a different um, different beater that was like a long beater it had a long reach so she would beat it in a inside of a tall glass and it wouldn't get everywhere yes so i'm adding strawberries in the bottom again because i don't like my stuff soggy so you do it the way you want if you want to have your cake and then put your strawberries on top so it soaks in the cake do it that way. I personally don't like that. So I rather have my strawberries. Then I put whipped cream, which protects the cake from the juice, which I find unpleasant. I know it's, but I don't like it. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> and that's the great thing about doing stuff yourself. You can tweak the recipes exactly. So you're trying to not get, like you, you wanna try to keep the glasses as clean as possible, if that makes sense. I mean, you could use a large funnel if it comes to that, you know. Yeah. You be super, super finicky about that. You know what I like about these glasses? And I really, I need to get those. I like those desserts where you kind of handle them, you know, and you let it yes. like, like a child. I let you do chocolate mousse and then strawberry mousse and it's like on a diagonal. It's really, really cool. Monologue for a second. I'm gonna whip monologue, it. Monologue, okay, another monologue. Okay, guys, so what's going on? Nobody's commenting, so I wanna hear what are your plans for the weekend? I know it's only Tuesday, but you gotta have some plans. I'm gonna be looking for the scooter. I want to get a pink scooter. And um, I was told that I could also paint it. So that should be really interesting. All right, so let's see what this is doing. Oh, look. This is fun. Yeah, if, actually, I was thinking if you have young children, this is something they could like play with, you know, because it's like it has like a really funny texture once it absorbs the water. You should always, always dissolve gelatin in cold water. If you do it in hot water, then it um, the outside of it will swell up and the water will not get in the middle. So that's not ideal. So you always want to use cold water and then add gelatin to um warm liquid to dissolve it completely and never boil anything with gelatin because it will um oh. it will basically destroy the properties of it so i'm sorry i removed you for a second just to show from the different angles so now i've got it in a piping bag and it's just so that it doesn't gunk up my glass and it's the easiest way to get the whipped cream in there and keeping everything tidy right and then you're just putting in. You really don't like any, like even the slightness, wetness of it. it I, you. I like it in, like it all together in my mouth, but I don't like it wet. Like you I just would not like poke, poke cake. I would not like poke cake. It's like very. It's like I feel like it's very wet. Like I had to watch some videos on how they are making it because I wasn't. Like all the videos I've seen, all the recipes, they include gelatin in a syrup. Oh yeah. And they actually use strawberry jello, but I don't have jello. I'm gonna be using real stuff. So I'm, I'm I'm making four and it looks like I don't even have enough. 
whipped cream for four. What's the, did you use one cup? I did. Cause I mean, we're a family of four at my house. So I didn't want to have a ton of leftovers. So it's not going to turn out as much whipped cream as I would have wanted. So I are guess I would have to make my whole container. Are you, are, you, are you allergic to yogurt? I have it. I bought two containers of it. It's just, I hate, again, I don't like whipped cream that sits whipped. But I mean, like, if you ever have, if you, if you don't have enough whipped cream and it doesn't, like, you're piping now, but if you don't have, to, if you're not planning on piping, whipped cream folded in with uh, even, like, really thick Greek yogurt, like Chobani or any, like, sour cream, it is delicious. It's like, oh, yeah. it's, and it's really nice. So, um, yeah, people, everybody, Teresa is making bridal showers, first time. You got this. You will, you will rock it. Don't worry. Upside down. Okay. Bridal shower cookies. It'll be, it'll be the first. Upside down strawberry shortcake. Wow. That sounds, there. that sounds interesting. Upside down strawberry shortcake. Sally here. Hi, Sally. So Sally wants to make... Cookies with a plant decoration called burning bush. Isn't the burning bush the like a real, like a red? It looks like hearts. The flowers. I don't know. Well, let, let us know how it goes, Sally. So I'm going to put them in the fridge, and actually, while you're working, I'll whip more whipped cream to put on top. So you don't like bread pudding either? Uh, no. So see, I, I, I'm going to start taking notes because when you come for a visit, I have to make sure that I make you something that you're going to like. <laughs> All about, it's that's it, right? It's uh, my childhood, what my mother made. It's kind of like what you're used to, you know? And, uh, no, it, it does make sense. All right, so um, my gelatin is, I think, ready. So I'm going to take it out. This is where your kids could, like, play with it. It's like so. <laughs> Funny texture. So I'm going to bring it a little bit. And I do like to um, microwave it because I'm not going to be working with very warm liquid. Normally you would add it to warm liquid and you would stir it until it dissolves, but I'm not going to be working with very warm liquid. So I'm going to actually add. Um, so I'm going over there. For two seconds. All right, two seconds. One, two. All right, so now I'll add a little bit of water. And a little more. Oops. My hands are clean. Don't worry about that. And I'm going to microwave this uh, on high for about five seconds, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to dissolve, dissolve completely, and that's what you want. All right. Well, see, it already started dissolving. I don't know if you can tell from the screen. Let me uh, bring this up a little more. It's still a little stretchy. I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to stir it really well. And then it looks like it needs a few more seconds. So a few more seconds, here we go. You don't want to overheat it. You don't want to overheat it. So make sure that you don't overheat it. Oh, Jennifer doesn't like custard either. Texture thing. I love custard. Oh, I can't wait to see the cookies, June. That's going to be really fun. What do you put in whipped cream to make it sweet? So I think Marlin, um, I don't know if she put the maple syrup. I think she put maple syrup on, on her strawberries. I do uh, powdered sugar. All right, so it looks like this is done. See, it's perfectly smooth. So now I'm going to put it on the side here and we're gonna just let it cool a little bit while I'm whipping the whipped cream. 
This is basically how you make stabilized whipped cream. All right, so I've got my bowl in a fridge. And I will be brutally honest, normally I don't chill my bowls when I make my whipped cream. All right, so this is uh, what I have. This is a 35% heavy cream. I don't know where Mar went. Hopefully she's coming back sometime soon. So I'm going to actually color my whipping cream with um, green and one is going to be white. Well, I got to tell you, I Are can't you? imagine. Look how thick this is. I mean, this is like, it's so thick. It's, I mean, it's like butter. I, well, I can't imagine how much food goes in the garbage on a food show because you have to have every step ready. Like, you know what I mean? So that you don't. Well, well, in my defense, I, I'm going to show the guys that I didn't really throw anything because I actually cut the cake in half. So I have already. Soaked my cake and it's soaked, so I have one in the fridge. So I'll just show how to poke it, and maybe you guys can give me some ideas with what 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 is it that they use to poke the cake. I only I could only find um, vintage straw. I don't know what else you can use, like a back oh, of the, what about the handle of your wooden spoon, the end of the wooden spoon. I guess yeah. I yeah. Guess that's so I'm hoping this is gonna whip. This is so heavy. Looking. So this is half cup. I'm not gonna need a whole lot of decorations, but I decided to make it more interesting. So I'm gonna make some flowers. And uh, what's great about whipped cream, you can make five flowers and stick them in a the freezer. And then um, uh, once they're frozen, you can peel them off and you can decorate your cake. And um, where is my green full of food coloring? So if you plan on coloring your whipping cream, add the food coloring before you start um, whipping. I use a fork, the back of the wooden spoon. Yeah. yeah. She went to mix more cream. Okay, did you? Okay, so now I'm going to... I also need some powdered sugar. Now my powdered sugar here, it's very, very um, kind of... There's lots of lumps. Uh, and it's expensive. And it is quite pricey, yes. It's still, it has lots of lumps. I don't like to use a lot of powdered sugar in my whipping cream because I find like it's then overwhelming. So, so can I just mention, ideally you're sealing the cake in the, in the glass so that no air can make it stale. I can just mention that, Han. Okay? I'm sorry again. I was just saying when you're filling the, the top of the cup, seal it, like put whipped cream so that there's no air that gets to the cake. Oh, oh that's true. That's true. So that if you put it back in the fridge, your, your cake isn't going to get um, all dry. Am I able to mute myself or do you have to mute myself? Oh, you can, but I can do it for you. You're muted. So. So thanks for being patient with us, guys. We're trying. It's. I mean, she's in Spain. I'm in Montreal, Quebec. Let me tell you, it's not easy always to have it work out here. I'm just moving the whipped cream so that I see it connecting to the glass so that, like I say, my stuff won't get stale when I put it back in the fridge. There. And now I'm just shaking it there so it connects and i'm just putting a strawberry on top they had a stem on them so i thought that was pretty so they're mine and she's whipping away trying to be quiet for you guys so that it doesn't make a racket because the mixer is not necessarily much of a a serenade so here let me look back. So what was Jeremy saying? All the kids are needy. Well, thank God you're there then. That's that's wonderful. Many kids are needy and have no one there. So that's, they're lucky kids. 
Tiny red leaves, yes. There's so many different decorating uh, options. I didn't hear what she was saying. Yes, absolutely. June has her grandkids over regularly. They do baking together. It's, uh, I mean, I guess we love it so much. Here, let me t put the other angle in. They look nice from this. Is it this side here? Let me put this so you can see it there. The lighting isn't great, but you see, if you have people in, those will have them um, talking, you know. As soon as you have people in that aren't bakers, you don't have to set the bar very high to impress them. <laughs> They're easily impressed. Oh, she's back. Hello? No, 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 no I'm not. <laughs> she's, back. she's putting green in. Well, it's true. Sadly, it's true. Even the kids have parents, but the parents are checked out, busy with their own issues. Oh, my, my kitchen is actually a mess. I have literally whipped cream everywhere. The, the screen, all on my camera, I have whipped cream everywhere. I didn't realize how it, in a, a low bowl, how much it flies around. I would say I'm probably a bit of a dark uh, person in general, like my mom, like joke wise, you know? I'm not so rainbows and unicorn. I'm not a, you know, but I don't do horror pictures either. Yes, well, that's it. I got the, these plastic cups. My son's having a little party with his friends tomorrow for the graduation. So I'm gonna use the leftover cake and I have a huge flat of strawberries so that's what i'm going to be using those for yes it's perfect easy peasy that's what i like yes sarcasm is always yes i like a, a, a nice dose of sarcasm as well <laughs> well i do make a uh, rainbow and unicorn cookies though <laughs> So now I know how she was feeling when I, she was monologuing. So much easier, like people who do the lives alone, I don't know how they do it because I mean, it's really, yes, you're interacting with the audience, but it's like you're all alone. Team sarcasm, yes, yes, yes. I'm actually, I have to monitor myself a lot during the lives because I don't really have much of a, like head and then it comes out and that's not very good during a live stream so I have to be very careful with myself because usually it's just thought and out yes Han loves to dance she actually uh, jogs and she gets to the top of the mountain and she dances and the neighbors or something will be walking by and she gets looks but you get to a point where you, you know, when you're young, every little thing you care about. And then as you get older, you realize nobody cares and you just do your own thing. Yes, it can be very difficult, uh, tricky. Absolutely. So what I did there, sorry to interrupt. What I did there, um, I added my color. Uh, and then I added powder sugar. Yeah. You can also add vanilla. Did you put pepper in your cake? Rachel wants to know. Pepper. 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 Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe we should start putting pepper in the cake. I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, no pepper. No pepper today. All right, so I've got here. Um, okay, piping bags. I'm just going to pop my things in the fridge. I am somewhat organized, all right? So keep, keep with me. Stay with me. All right, so... Um, so I've got the leaves should be probably bigger, right? So it's 104 petal, and then for the flowers, those are going to be white. I'm going to use 103. I have made large flowers with a you know the giant the Wilton penalty, but they're in a freezer, but they they're so big. Oh, pepper, that was food coloring, yes. 
Oh yes, yes, it looks because it's quite a little. Yeah, there's just a little bit left. So when you're trying to get it out, um, I normally add a little bit of corn syrup in it and I give it a good shake to get like most of it. Oh, I get it now. Yes, thank you for explaining. I wasn't understanding. All right. Um, so now we can put, uh, I'm gonna start, I guess, with the flour. Oh, I'm all over the place. I need to prep my parchment. So if you haven't done any piped flour, these are really simple and um, they are really easy to do. Have you used the Russian piping tips with whipped cream? Because that's a question I, I can have it, I have it. I have it. We can test it after. Like once I'm done, we can test it because I was going to use it. But I remember one time I used it. Uh, I think that I have used it, but then now I don't remember whether it was the Russian Russian piping tip or the rose. You know, you because know, I get that question a lot on the video that I have on YouTube. I've seen actually a video where they use it with stabilized whipped cream. I think I have used it, but I think you have to use the one the tip with large openings. You know, like this one. Not the one that maybe maybe I don't know. Do they come in even with larger larger gaps? I think that's pretty much the biggest one. So they recommended, and I would say as well that you need to use the one with larger opening, so the uh, whipped cream um, kind of hold its shape and it looks like something. All right. So now I'm going to. Cut it into squares. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Like I said, it is very unplanned. I had this sophisticated thing planned, and now, yeah, no ice cream cake. So we are doing the poke, poke cake. But because I have to overcomplicate things, I'm I'm piping some flowers that go on top. That's all the fun. I've got my very small flower nail here. She. Connie caught me eating. Oh my God, where'd you get that thing? Oh, isn't that fancy? Where did you get it? Oh, I made it. You made it? Of course. No, I seriously. Make I make everything. I made it. No, I bought it. Of course I bought it. They sell, they sell these in different sizes, depending on the flowers. And I, I was making, uh, or I was gonna make uh, meringue flowers, you know? And if they want them large, okay, I should probably start doing this because it will. Less talking, more working. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to tell you here, Lynn is saying she made your raspberry curd last week. It was the best thing she's ever had in her mouth. However, <laughs> strawberry could be nice. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. That is so sweet. Thank you. All right, so now to pipe the flowers, super simple. I'm going to set this aside, obviously. Kathleen, I do wash my piping bags, and I think Han does too on occasion. You yes. wash them? Yes. This is actually freshly washed. It's been reused many times, and it is the T plus one. And, um, all right, so let's get going. Super simple. So I'm using petal tip. This is 103 for the flowers. You don't want to handle. Uh, whipped cream for too long. That's why I only added a little bit of whipped cream because your, the warm of your hand is going to soften it up, even okay. if it's stabilized. I'm going to pipe five petals because uh, strawberry flowers have five, pet five petals. Um, narrow part of the tip is facing out and white part is facing out. So on Friday, do you know what you're doing? Uh, we're doing um we're doing um fifth of fourth of July. Fourth of July thing. I did uh, I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna put it in, in my face because I can't find it. Oh I think I'm doing um uh take on stars and fourth of July. So on Friday, we're on with Sweet Ams. If you're new to the live stream, Han and I are on Tuesday. And then on Friday, we're joined by Amber of Sweet Ams. And we do mostly cookies on Friday, but we're switching it up on Tuesdays. 
Oh, let me let me switch cameras. I'm I'm slacking off on my duty. This is a little tricky to see, Han. I'll tell you. Um, your white ice thing oh, is reflecting. I don't like. Okay, let me. Uh... Oh, Amber's doing Canada Day, but she doesn't know what which one she's doing. I told her to make a poutine cookie. Poutine. You guys know what poutine is? With, uh, with maple syrup. Okay, let's see. Is this better? Uh, Focus. I forgot, Michelle. I, I I woke up there. I switched it up. I'm I uh, Amy came on to help uh, Han there when I well to help me when Han was uh, basically transitioning to Spain and now Han is back. I'm so back. She's back. The move to Spain from from uh, United States was quite, uh, uh, you know, it was a big thing. And then her home that she purchased needed a lot of work, so it was long before she could like set her kitchen up and get herself, you know, ready to work. Progress, but we have maybe ninety five percent of the eggs uh, uh, boxes on packed. It's not pretty. Putsin is not a pretty thing. Okay, so we don't really need a whole lot of like of these flowers because my cake is fairly small. But can you see better now? I yeah yeah it's it's good. It's just before like the light oh, was, yeah, right. was light 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 my exposure was, uh, and it um you know because you're piping white on that silver reflective thing, <laughs> so we see very well. The flower nail falls. Yeah, it's good, but I'm just telling you. Yeah, here's the only large flower nail. If you're packing like a lot of big flowers, this is a great thing to have. And it's very lightweight. What I like about it, it's very lightweight. So if you're making a lot of these, your wrist is not going to tire that easy. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah. No, I would say some of the most delicious things are, are, are not really uh, good looking, right? Well, that's it. Like I find the kids when they're around in the kitchen when I'm making supper, if they catch something, they'll be like, "Oh, mom, like get away, come back when it's finished." <laughs> you know. All right, so we can put this in the freezer, or you can put this in the freezer. I'm going to actually oh. put this in the fridge so we can then maybe if you have time. I think though, uh, Teresa, they've come out with piping tips for left-handed people. Pretty sure. All right, so now I'm going to now I haven't tried to make the leaves before. So <laughs> there's first time for everything, right? So I have tried making leaves, but not with uh whipped whipped cream. Cream. not with whipped cream. But that must be this one this one would be in my mind easier than making the flowers. Oh, the leaves? Well, in my mind. You're not in frame. Oh, sorry. Okay, so as you know, uh, strawberries, they have these. Oh, you're making uh, fancy leaves. leaves. I thought try. you were just doing a normal leaf. You're being I'm going to try. As we, I told you I like to complicate things. I thought you Great. knew that about me. So she's going to get jiggy with it. See, it's a lot of wiggling. Ah, uh, you made it look so easy. Oh, but it's uh, it's not the right shape. I don't like it. We'll forgive you. It's not the right shape. No, it's being tossed away. It's getting tossed? Yes, I didn't like it. Ah. Uh. And is this one passing the test? Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> this is much better. All right, so one more. Or maybe two, a few more. I don't know. We'll see. You get the idea. Again, the narrow part of the tip is facing out, and the wide part is facing in. And you're basically going back and forth with your hand. So I'm starting, and it's like a zigzag.
And if I'm fighting, you may come to the top. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, directing them to your royal icing version. You made a, a YouTube video with the flower, the flowers yes. and the leaves for. Um, it was actually, uh, if you look up Mason, uh, not Mason, um, um, Fancy. Oh, yes. Mother's Day, right. Fancy, Fancy um, picture or something, base. For Mother's Day, I used uh, obviously a smaller tip, but it's the same idea for the leaves. And I'm not using a leaf tip, like this is a petal tip. Very basic petal tip. You can use it to make flowers, roses, so many different things. That's a 104, right? This one is 104, yes, that is correct. See, so yeah, as I'm turning it, uh, so once I once I reach the height I want for my leaf, I start turning my my nail and I pipe the other side. So hands working in whipped cream. Normally, we're uh, if you're used to watching us live, we're usually in royal icing. Today, she's working in whipped cream, and you can see once you've mastered cookie decorating, you can pretty much pipe in anything, wouldn't you say? The thing about the whipped cream, like I think I added more uh, gelatin to this the green because it pipes nicer. It's not as soft as the white one. Or it might as well be the food coloring. Sometimes food coloring, Amber, I think she mentioned that her realizing when she adds food coloring, it gets thicker. So maybe there is an additional like stabilizer in it that it makes it a bit thicker. And you My can make it also smaller. Awesome. Well, Connie, keep us posted. If you try uh, any of the recipes, we'd love to hear from you. And follow us on Instagram. We have a new account dedicated just to the bake alongs. It's called Baking with My BFF. What consistency, Julie, you mean for her strawberries? Or, or the royal icing version? Is that what you mean? I need to find another. Um, I'm in the freezer, so see, these are the ones I made earlier. Look how giant these are. These are um, quite big, but look, and this is whipped cream. So I'm going to, because they are frozen, I'm going to stack them on top of each other. And I'm going to add my small leaves here. How long could you freeze those for? Oh, I would, like, um, I would say, like, two weeks, maybe. I would cover them up. Like once you freeze them, you can then like stack them gently. Would you put a saran wrap over that? Yes, 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 absolutely. I'm putting these in the freezer, so okay. I'll be two seconds. You see her countertop? That's her new island. It's quite a production to get that in the house and installed. Bye, Connie. Well, I think seven people were bringing that in the house. Hello, Sue. All right, so I'm going to put this in the fridge as well so it doesn't get too soft. And then I'm going to... So she's got a lot of parts for her cake there. So this, this month, Han has to stream for 10 hours. So that's why we're... I mean, two times this week, we're trying to get the hours for her to get her Facebook um, reward. And I have to go check on Facebook. I was missing 82 stars to hit my target. They wanted 5,000 stars, and then I was going to get my Facebook reward. And Han ha uh, not Han, Amber has to get 10,000. Her channel is bigger, and her Facebook page is bigger. They made her target bigger. Well, let me tell you, it's a workout to fit anything in a fridge. <laughs> well, but like you were saying, not everybody has, like you have a big fridge, but not everybody has the space, right, to um, put all like the cookie dough and the this, that, and the other thing that, Well, right? I, I didn't always have that much space, I would say. It wasn't always the case. Yeah, I Thank you, Justin. Thank you very much for the stars. I've hit my target, I think, Han. Did you? Awesome. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so now we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you how I made my uh, strawberries.
syrup. Now, those of you who make poke cake, do you guys use the jello or do you make your own syrup? Because I kind of try I try to stay away from jello <laughs> because it's very artificial. Uh, not only the food color, but also I think the taste, unless you can find an all natural brand. So um, and obviously here I couldn't find jello. So in the, in, oh, you couldn't find Jell-O. I was going to say, that's what I was going to ask you. And there's no such thing as Jell-O there. Nope. I, well, maybe if I looked, but I really didn't. Yeah. So what I ended up doing, I bought frozen strawberries and I couldn't find fresh ones. And I made a syrup. Now for this cake, you really don't need as much as I'm using. You, I think you would be fine with just one packaging, but I ended up, Putting both, it was 300 grams um, of strawberries, and then you can add anything you want to it. Like you could just add water and then sweeten it after. I ended up adding sugar and a little bit of water, and I also like to add a lemon juice. I just find that lemon juice um, it um, enhances flavor of strawberries and raspberries and also blueberries. And you can give us thumbs up if you think the same. I like to put my lemon into a microwave for 30 seconds to get the most out of it. And then you can um, juice it. This is my new lemon juicer. I couldn't find my, what's the other thing called? The, the wooden, do you, do you have it? I, I, had know, it I don't know what the name of it. I know what you're talking about, but I couldn't is tell. It, is it river? I have no idea. I have no idea now. now so I'm put gonna, it in the comments if you know the contraption to exactly, exactly. And I'm gonna cook it on medium heat until strawberries are soft. Now, because I wanted to use some strawberries as a garnish, I didn't really like um, work with them too much. I wanted them to stay whole, most of them anyway. Um, so you wanna be gentle if you are planning on using them later, or some of them, and then. Uh, once it's cooked, you see how liquid it becomes. And this is the good stuff we're going to pour into the cake. Mm, they didn't so, really break down, eh? They stayed. They didn't quite know. That's what I was like. Oh, wow. They're staying to be like, look, like now, once it cools, it darkens in color. And now I'm going to um, save some of the whole strawberries that I was able to fish out. And hopefully they will look okay. If they look ugly, I'm not going to use them on a cake. Mm hmm. So I'm just gonna, we got a question from Brenda about stars. So stars are basically a way to um, kind of send support to us. It's like a tip jar, but normally we, if you can, if you donate via coffee, that's a different platform because Facebook takes a significant chunk of your donations here on the platform, whereas coffee, there's zero fees. But they were having a reward system. They want us to use the stars, and it was it's it it's basically three times the amount I'm gonna be receiving from Facebook. So of course it was worth it, and so we wanted to hit our target, and that's the why. So normally if you do want to contribute to the live stream, if you want us to receive all of that, it's coffee's the platform to do that from because they don't take anything. So Han has a coffee, I have a coffee, and so does Amber. We all have a coffee so, shop. I ended up mashing them instead of, if you have a food processor, but I find if you're working with this small amount of strawberry sauce, um, a lot of the sauce gets, you know, on the walls, on the you know, in the bowl of your food processor. So the technical is quick, I think. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Is that, is that how it's pronounced, Reamer? Rasp or zester? Oh no, the, not the zester. Zester, squeezy thing. I like that. That is my style. That's <laughs> it. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> All right, so that's how I made the sauce. Now you could, like I said, if you don't like the, the bits of strawberry flush there, um, you can uh, use a food processor or even better would be the um, immersion blender. Which oh yes. It's, it's easier to clean and you don't have so much waste. Um, but I didn't do that, I just mashed it. And then um, I also wanted to show you, this is how I turned my cake up, you know, upside down to remove the parchment. Your cake baked so Thank you. I decided since um, 
a pulp cake, according to the recipes I found online, it's to rest for a little bit, that I'm going to actually cut the cake in half. And so I just um, cut it in half and one half I prepared ahead of time. I poked it and I poured the syrup over it. And the other half I'm going to do now. Now I do have a question for those of you who make pulp cakes regularly. Do you put gel, like I, I assume you use jello because it sets. So then the cake, is that why the jello is used? Anyone can maybe answer? I have no idea. All right, so well anyway, so you can either, I ended up actually using a little bit of, um, a little bit of um, gelatin and I'm gonna just use, oh, this is already setting, look, 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 not fun. There's the <laughs> gelatin. Love, yeah, I love gelatin, look how it's setting. Nice and clear. So we, you don't, I guess what I'm trying to say, um, I, in my first version, the one that is in a fridge, I used a little bit of gelatin, but I don't think it's necessary, to be honest. I mean, if you feel like you have to use it, then you would follow the same process I showed you earlier, where you did, you know, you, um, um, you bloom the gelatin and then you dissolve it and then you would uh, mix it with your syrup. All right. Oh, well, let's poke the cake. Okay, so. Thunder smasher, yes. Patreon right. takes a, a percentage, Donna, but very reasonable. It is a service. I don't expect you know them to not make money, but a very reasonable, very reasonable. Oh, I've got my uh, poking tool here. Thanks, Julie, for joining us. So I assume this is how it's done. Just poke it like that. So Bonnie's saying, I don't know. I pour the jello on the cake in the cake pan and the juice is contained in the pan. I think that sounds right, Hanny. The gelatin sets instead of remaining. Maybe I should make some then. Is it okay if I make some? Yeah, I'll just make some. Yeah, I'll make some. Is it okay if I make some? Make what? Gelatin? Yeah. Do it. Let me just get one sheet. I'm just going to do one sheet. Oops. Or two sheets. Because two sheets is about one teaspoon um, of granulated. Sorry. Yeah, it's um, it's not like the, this this uh, package has only 10, 10 units, so ten sheets, which is not a whole lot, but it's it's fairly cheap, I have to say. It's not like very expensive. It's not an expensive ingredient. No, no it's not very expensive. It's, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pour water. So while she's uh, doing her thing, I'm just gonna show you. So our first bake along, we made uh, sugar cookies. This is her recipe on her blog. She put sprinkles in hers and I put uh, zest from a lemon, a lime and a orange. And that's what you see in mine. And on last Friday for the live cookie decorating day, she made the flamingo and I made those flip flops. The templates are in our coffee shop. Oh, he's still poking. And tomorrow I'm making the flamingo again during the live on Instagram. Oh, you're doing the live tomorrow with Amber on Instagram. At what time? We are going back and we are going. Um, uh, I'm doing at noon, and then Amber is going to follow up after me. So it should be a really fun hour. More, more Facebook requirements. That's why they're on there so much. You guys are wondering. Okay, we we're like. That's it. That's the. I don't want to say it, but like, don't get used to it because it's so like. This week I'm going live four times, and it is quite like I have to say it's like you prepare for it uh, almost like half of the day. Well, how many cakes did you make for for just today? Well, today I baked three. Three cakes. You know, it's so much preparation. So much. Because the one, the ice cream one didn't turn out. It was a fa failure. <laughs> It's in the freezer, but um, and then I bake this one just so I can quickly. Add. Thankfully, it bakes so fast. You know, it's like it's really it really is like a thirty minute cake. Like 
you know, from the prep to out of the oven. Yes. Hello, Firefly. I know that's not your name, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it makes me laugh because I laugh during this time in the U.S. I haven't noticed it here, but um, we had we had uh, fireflies in the backyard, and it's so it was so beautiful. So many of them. We always said that we have Las Vegas in our backyard because we had just. How do you guys call them? Because some people call them fireflies. And some people call them hi Katie. Hello. Some people call it's firefly or lightning bugs. Yes, yeah, lightning bugs. Hello. Uh, is is it Lourdes? I think this is Madonna's daughter's name, isn't it, Lourdes? Yeah. Yes, it is. Hello. It looks like you see all the like chunks of strawberries in there. It's so good. Oh yes, Han. Uh, Jennifer's <laughs> curious about your coconut oil. Coconut oil. Are you having a senior moment? You put that in the cake yesterday. <laughs> coconut oil, it was just, it's just fine. Yeah, it's fine. It didn't, like, I don't think it landed uh, too much of the flavor of the coconut to the cake because I did have a little bite. Um, but it was like, it, yeah, it was, it was fine. It wasn't like overpowering or anything like that. But if I you I got a can of the coconut oil, you know, like for when you're making, and yeah, yeah. Um, I had it like to make scrambled eggs. Boy, I didn't like that. Oh no, I don't think I would like that. No, scrambled eggs, it's a full, full, full butter operation, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's trying no. to be healthy. No, I think they're, yeah, I, I am also very, very healthy, trying to be healthy, but I think, yeah. There are I things that I would like, I would Here's I something I would, that you might like. Yes, yes, that is that is very much true. But I cook the strawberries, and what what happens when you cook like pineapple, strawberries, and other tropical fruits? They don't set well. There is an enzyme. I think it's called B, B of something. Uh, start on B, B, and so you can remove the enzyme by cooking, fully cooking the strawberries. So that's what I did. So you can you can. I think that it's the strawberry, uh, pineapple, kiwi fruit is also known for it. Ginger. Although I don't know why you would, I guess, make ginger with mix ginger with gelatin, but um, yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to now. I normally do. I normally do, but my son was on some health kick and he wanted that, and it was there, and I regretted it after. Are you regretting what? And we're talking about the coconut oil for the eggs. Oh, yes. So, Han, you've you've uh, crossed over your hour. You were wondering if you wouldn't have time. Oh, so well, okay. He's still left out. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, uh, but we have to finish. So, I'm going to... It's fine. Okay. So, I'm going to... It's fine. So, our target was an hour 15 today. So, she would have to um, stream eight times <laughs> instead of 10 times at an hour. Oh, and I also wanted to add that you can actually make, I've made strawberry mousse, which is also made with strawberries. So you make strawberry puree, but you cook the strawberries. And it is Did absolutely... You well? Did you make that as well today? No, no. I was going to say, my gosh. No, 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 but like, I was... So I mean, you can also, like I've used strawberries to make strawberry mousse. And it set really nicely, so it was fine. So now I'm just going to pour this into my syrup. You want to make sure that your syrup is not too cold. You want to move it over just a bit in the in the frame there. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be adding all of the syrup because this cake, like I'm only using half of it. So what else would you use that syrup for? The syrup. Or you can just drink it up or put the mix it with, I don't know, make a cocktail. But I would strain it. I don't think cocktail with the floating um, <laughs> strawberries would be. Uh, now that you have the gelatin in it, I don't know if you want to make a cocktail. No, not now with the gelatin, I don't think so. I can just pour it into a cup. I think it's going to set very soft. 
Oh, pancakes. Very good. Oh, yeah, pancakes. Absolutely. Yes. Pancakes. June seconds the pancake idea. Oh, mm. I actually boil blueberries in maple syrup, and that's pretty good on pancakes. So is this how it's done, guys? I mean, am I doing it okay? No, you're, no, it's you have nice. to pour, pour faster. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Faster, okay. Oh, in okay. champagne, if you're feeling fancy. Oh, oh, yes. You can have yourself a little... Um, oh, I make um, strawberry gummy bears. A what? Gummy bears? I don't know what that is. Strawberry gummy? Gummy, gummy bear? Oh, gummies. Yes, yes, yes. You had made gummies. Yes, I had made wine gummies. If you haven't made those guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You start with five and you end up eating 20 and then you feel a little... Yes. Happy. Oh, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> you could put it on ice cream. You love your ice cream. Yes. You know, the shop was closed yesterday. I was a little disappointed. Oh, but I understand they do, they do need to um, uh, take a break because they are open during the weekend. So, so what are we making again yeah. next week? Speaking of ice cream, next Tuesday we're making brownie. We bought brownie mix and we're going to make brownie cups and then we're going to make sundaes. So. Okay. Yes, I'm excited about that. So I don't think I need to add more. I, I think it's okay. So at this point you want to cover this up with the foil. Or with the food wrap. I have done so and it's in the fridge, so I'm gonna take it out. But before I guess I should probably make my second uh, whipping cream. More whipped cream. Yes, well what do you do you want to eat this? This looks this doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> oh well you want to eat it anyway. So she's putting it in the fridge and she's going to whip more cream. So I mean, I'm monologuing again. I'm going to have to work on my comedy show. What did you say? You're going to have to work on your comedy skit. So this is the one I prepared earlier today. I think. Oh, she did one. Oh my gosh. This is actually. So yeah, if you want to chip in, you can. Sorry, but if I was to serve this to some, I don't. I would have to leave the room <laughs> because as it is, it looks like a rat, like almost like batting meat or something. You know. <laughs> I have to say, it is not particularly pretty, but I'm. I'm yeah, going to beautify it. We are, don't worry. We are going to beautify it. I made myself cry. It's looking a tad rough. I have to say, strawberries, they do not, it, like, um, make a pretty color. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you, yeah. it, like. When you, when, you cook, when you cook them, they lose their color. And a they're not pretty. will use uh, baking soda, but I think baking soda also kills a lot of the good stuff, you mm -hmm. know, to retain color. But, I, yeah, I prefer just keep the good stuff. Amber made a strawberry short, uh, well, sugar cookies. I don't know if they were shortbread, but she has a recipe on her coffee shop where she used dehydrated strawberries. So, so now Han is using her Spanish whipped cream, which is, she says, capable of making butter. It's uh, so fake. The stuff is so fake that I think we are allergic to it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're I think we are both allergic to it. Like it, it's gonna She's be I have to reacting work. well to it. So what are you gonna do with that cake if you can't oh, eat it? No. You're gonna give it to the neighbor? Well then next today I saw they had they had four little kids there and today I saw two little boys they were venturing out. So I might uh, not knock I mean like knock on the door and see if they uh, if they want it. I'm not gonna tell them that I would I mean, um, I don't know. Well, I think if I eat it in small quantities, it should be fine, but I'm not going to die. Is this coming out? This is actually Chef Master Deep Pink. Oh, that's a big blob of paper. Yes, the neighbors in the States loved her as well. 
when you give a little bit of desserts like that, then people start expecting it. And that's when it gets unpleasant. Yes. That's when it gets unpleasant. And then they start, yeah, they start ordering cakes from you for free. It's like, sorry, you're getting the cake that I needed to make for a video. You're not getting to place orders. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna mute myself. Sorry. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, she'll be back in a second. She's just muted herself because of the mixture, the mixer there. She, uh, she's I think on her third electric handheld mixer in Spain. I guess the quality she's having trouble finding because I mean she does use her mixer quite a bit, so they die. <laughs> They die on her. She added, I guess, a little bit of the food color so that it would have a prettier pigment. You add a bit of food color, that makes sense. What is she doing now? Oh, some Dr. Utker, who knows what. What is that? This is actually, folks, and you can find an alternative to this in the States on Amazon. It's a whipped cream stabilizer. Oh. So you can add this if you don't feel like messing with the gelatin. You can just add this, you know, stuff. I'm not going to be, no, no, I'll just add one packet. It's a packet of stuff. Dr. Utker has a lot more products in Europe, eh, I find. There, I muted her again. They ha I went to England a few years ago, and I actually picked up quite a few Dr. Utker products. They had lovely pearls that uh, were really you know, a soft bite, because often the pearls are so hard. And they also had wonderful uh, gold spray. Like the pearl and gold spray it was available at the grocery store and it worked really nice. But I did manage to get through it and it's kind of far to get another bottle. But when I looked online, I didn't see that it was still in their collection. So I don't know if they stopped making that gold spray, but it was very, very good. The whipped cream's a little misleading though when it's that color. You think it's gonna taste like strawberries and it tastes just, I didn't put vanilla in mine, come to think of it. That would have been good. Is she done? There we go. Looks awesome, nice and thick. Thank you. Never mind. Yeah, I don't want you sick on camera. No, no. All right, so now we're going to I'm going to actually spread this in, in an even layer. I'm gonna try, and then I thought I would try a fun technique. You can try at home. Are they still well, naked, Susan? It's a great. I thought it was a great product. What is it? The Dr. Utker, they, they sell like, you know, like the canned Miss Wilton makes? Yes. They sell a gold version and it's very, very nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. I have to... There is actually a brand here. And it's a, I believe it's a, um, uh, what's the word? Sub, uh, subsidiary? How do you pronounce it? I can't have it. Yeah, I know the word you're subsidiary. Yes. I think that's it. Yes. Subsidiary? Uh, subsidiary. Yes, yes. It's, I believe, uh, of one of, of a US brand. I have to double check again because I can't remember exactly the name of the brand. I'm just going to spread it. I made more whipped cream, but this is going to be great for the second layer. Oops. So normally, I don't know anything about a poke cake, but I'm just watching you. Do you think that normally you would have baked the cake in that Pyrex and then soaked it in the same pan? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like if I didn't cut it in half, I would do it all in a pan. You know, all in that pan. But I didn't feel like baking it out of it. 
Oh, Heather's saying, uh, could you have added strawberry jello, I guess, uh, jello instead of plain gelatin? She, she doesn't yeah, have jello in Spain. Have, I don't have um, strawberry jello here. Yeah. So Spain, oh, well, didn't, she does have I, I, didn't, I didn't look for strawberry jello. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, very quickly, we're going to do a fork um, decorating. So I'm going to, I've never done this before, so hopefully it will work. Have you done this before, Mark? No. I wonder if I have to, okay, so, yeah. Do you know where I'm going with this? Uh, no. Are you going to do a plaid? You still don't know where I'm going with this? Do you or do you not? No. Oh. Do you? I don't know what you're doing. Are you doing? You're doing basket weave, is that it? Oh, I think I'm it's this way, right? Am I messing it up? No, oh, good. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Yeah, this is how you can kind of quickly decorate your cake. I mean, it's kind of looks, starting to look like a flag almost. Or maybe you have your idea for Friday. Oh, did I mess it up? It's confusing to me. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to take the flowers out. I'm going to this is not here. Okay. Now, hopefully, the flowers are firm enough. Well, the other ones you made earlier should be. Oh, that should be fine. If I can find where I put it in each. Okay. So, are you trying to? Um, get the whole 10 hours done today no no no. we are almost done so you see uh it's frozen now i can feel them all i'm just teasing you in <laughs> oh, are you okay you're not funny <laughs> if you thought it was funny it's not funny i told you i'm working on my material you're kind of funny well, that was funny do i do oh, I, I, i'm sorry like putting this back because we need to do the leaves and greenery first i think what are you doing? The what? Greenery? Okay, let's not do that then. Okay, you're, you're confusing me. Okay. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Oh, okay. So, um, let's just have a little fun with this. So, if you're new, if you just arrived, she made those out of whipped cream and froze them. And that's why she's able to handle them. They're frozen solid. But they're whipped cream just like the cake. And so she once they thaw, they'll be all the same kind of like bite. She's not going to have any hard parts. It's already softening up, so you have to work fairly quickly. So it's like a cute little strawberry cake. And then we have some sprinkles. And if you'd like to support our weekly bake along, you can do so in the coffee shop. There's the link to the coffee shop. Thanks to um, everybody that sent stars today. Justin, thank you for taking me over my requirement. I hit my goal. 
Thank you very much. That's appreciated. That's a pretty pink. Thank you. Deep pink from Chefmaster. I really don't think myself that it would look nice to put your boiled strawberries on top in this. Just my opinion. I think it would I'm look sorry, you what? to put the boiled strawberries you were thinking about. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. If they are here, uh, I think it would look kind of sloppy. Sloppy, so we are not going to do that. I'm not, I, I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna swap out this piping pit for a round one. Okay, and now oh, you're putting some vines or something? Well, I guess this is a vine. I don't think she even had any June. She didn't, that's why she made this cake. She couldn't find fresh strawberries. So she just had the, the frozen ones. That's what was the dilemma for poor Han. She went out on the hunt, bought strawberry ice cream, thinking she was gonna make strawberry kind of ice cream cake. And then the strawberry ice cream wasn't chilling. It was too soft. and. So when you're live, you have to kind of. All right, so to make the strawberry flowers more like strawberry flowers, I'm going to use yellow nocarels. These little pouches are a dollar or something like that. They are fantastic. The only thing that I'm missing now is something to cut. The... Oh, something. Yeah. Right. So just make a small opening. The notare are perfect for. Um, <coughs> I just choked. Oh, it, right. up and it went down. Um, they're great because they don't hurt your teeth. And I'm gonna be right back. I think I might. Are you alright? Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. So this is your. This is the poke cake that I made today. Those of you joining us, it's all whipped cream. I piped the flowers with whipped cream, and then I froze them. And then once they're frozen, you can peel them off the parchment. They do get soft fairly quickly, so you don't have to wait for these to thaw or anything like that. You can serve it right away. And I'm going to put a, like a, this recipe with the ingredients in a coffee. Oh, excellent. So should I give myself a slice? Here's mine. Okay. I made cups and handmade a cake. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna go with your cups next time. This is uh, so elaborate. I'll save mine for tonight with my family. No, like for, like it's not too bad, huh? Like from the raw meat to this, it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm eating the leftover strawberries. Okay, I'm going. Oh, this is so soft. I can. You see how the, the leaf is it's cutting through easily? I can't even cut a straight line. I swear there was no boost. Okay, I can't wait to try this. Uh, you never had it? Yes. Okay, can I? Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna fish this out. So how close are you to having your camera working to live? Oh, yes. Ooh. oh where am I? What, what am I? <laughs> Very nice. I know you wouldn't like it. Oh, let's see. Well, we can maybe remove my, uh, my, uh... hey. How close? Well, I'm very close. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. This is my version of a strawberry shortcake poke cake. It's a really long name, strawberry shortcake poke cake. And um, let's see. Oh. It's good. It's good. It's actually very good. Mm. Yeah, I love the, like, literally. Literally, you could soak the whole cake, and I like I love that stuff. It's not too sweet. I'll pull mine out for supper tonight. Everybody will be thrilled. 
Nice. Hmm. Very nice. Thanks like for it? joining us, everybody. So next next Tuesday, we'll be making our brownie cups. And on Friday, it's 4th of July in Canada Day. Decorated. Yes, I'll be for July, I'm going with a star theme. So I still have to bake some cookies, but it's going to be all about stars, I think. Where where is the picture here? And tomorrow I'm doing and tomorrow I'm doing actually live with uh, Speed Ants. Amber and I will be doing live starting at noon on Instagram. I'm gonna be decorating flamingo cookies, making some transfers. Talk about um, transfers and we'll make some flowers and we'll just have um, you know we'll take Q and A and it will be a fun uh, early afternoon. Everybody. So I hope you guys can join us. Thank so you so much for nice. sticking in. It's been an hour and a half. I can't believe it. I was a little worried that um, I'm going to be done really, really fast, but this was fun. And it came like, uh, honestly, I didn't plan any of this. Like, I really didn't plan. It was very last minute, and it worked out really well. Well, I mean, it was just because we thought about strawberry shortcakes a while ago, and then all the oh, yes. So anyway. But I never thought they, would, they wouldn't have it. So it worked out well. And if, like, if for example, you are in a, in an area where you don't have strawberries, this is another alternative. You can use frozen strawberries to make something like that. Go have go have uh, something to eat. I go have something to eat. But don't start with, I mean, yes, dessert first. But no, don't start with dessert. Dessert is next. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow us on um Baking Instagram. with my, yeah, baking with my DFS on Instagram. And, and if, you, if you try any of the recipes that we are trying, we'd love to hear what you guys think. And um, we'll and you can watch time. this on replay. We save them, so if if you uh, you know are arriving late, you can rewatch it, and you can watch last week's when we made sugar cookies. These cookies, yes, absolutely, we made cookies, and quite a few people sent in pictures. They made, they made cookies as well. Next week, we are making brownie cups. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.